Hey guys, Mr. Ace here. Um, just want to talk to you today about an assignment that we've got coming up. Um, the assignment will require you to make an infographic, also known as a one pager, um, to show us what you have learned within our unit here. So we've covered a few different questions within our unit. We've covered one big topic. Um, and it's time for you to kind of show off what you know. Okay, so you're going to get a blank presentation, new clean presentation um, for this one pager. And like the name implies, you've got one slide to show us what you know. Okay, show the teachers what you know, show, show your classmates what you know. Um, in order to do that, we want to make it a little bit bigger so you have a little more room. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click File and then go down to Page Setup. It's going to come in with widescreen 16 by 9. I'm going to change that to custom and I'm going to make one 8.5 and then the other 11. Okay, so that makes it the size of a piece of standard paper, like a normal piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. If you wanted to make it the other way, you could easily go back in to page setup and make it 11 by eight and a half and click apply there and it'll make it the opposite way, but it'll still make it the size of a piece of paper. Okay. Um, another tool you'll want to know how to use pretty well is the text box tool. Okay. So you've got a tech, uh, your slide comes with two text box on it, text boxes on it. Um, you can change the size of it as I'm sure many of you know, by using uh, this little four arrow tool. Okay, you can also move it. I can move it anywhere on the page I need to. Okay. Um, I'm going to put my title in this one. Okay, an example title there. Um, I'm also going to, to change it to make that title stand out a little bit more. Maybe I want to change it to um, this font. I always kind of like the permanent marker font. I might want to make it bolder, underline it, italicize it, however you want to make it look. Then I can change the color too. I might make the font on this one, I'm going to make a dark red. Okay. And then the background of the text box, I want to make like a light blue so it kind of stands out a little bit. I think those look all right, but I don't really like that, that color too much. I'm going to go with maybe like that color blue in the background. Okay, so now that's what it looks like. I can move that, I can still move that box wherever I want. Um, I might need more than one uh, text box. So I'm gonna go up to insert text box, and then it'll give me this little crosshair. I can drag that out, make the box as big as I want. I can put a border around the box maybe. Okay, that, that's these lines right here. Okay, I can change the box's color, I can change it to a gray box. Um, I can make it so I'm writing in that same color. Okay, put some information in there. All right, so I can add text boxes. Um, many of you know how to insert pictures and things like that. That would be a good thing to add here too. Um, there are gonna be some requirements, so I wanna go over those now. In a one pager, this is one I have completed already. Okay, um, I'll just kind of go through it here with you to present it. Um, I have my title up at the top. Okay, my title. This one's about the American Revolution. I inserted a few pictures of different th different parts of the American Revolution, and each one has a caption next to it that explains something about that picture and how it's connected into the American Revolution as a whole. In my like light brown teal or cream, excuse me, cream colored um, background boxes, I put information to answer the questions, okay? So I put a title for each of those boxes that kind of lets somebody know what question I'm answering. And then I answered those questions within those boxes, here, here, and here. I also added some statistics of my own. Um, I found these statistics, and so I put them in different articles that we'd read in class, so I put them in here. So the red box is about the British Army, the blue box is about the Continental Army. Okay, color coding, um, making sure it looks sharp, um, 
and appealing to the eye. If somebody walked by this, would it maybe get their attention? That's what we're looking for in a one pager. Answer all the questions, add some statistics and some information of your own. Okay. Make sure to make it visually appealing. All right. Those are some of the things we're trying to do um, as we do this. Okay. And make sure if there's any other specific requirements that are part of the project, you put them in there as well. All right. If you have any questions about how to do anything like that, within this one pager project, um, feel free to ask the teacher. They are the expert here and will be willing to help you out. All right. Thanks, guys, and uh, work hard on this one.